What's going on guys? Nils Jonasson here. I just got back from my FFL and I have the brand new steel frame rival and I couldn't not go to the range and shoot it. So I figured I'd do a quick video so you guys can watch. So I got 100 rounds, got PMC 124 grain 9 millimeter, steel frame rival, the SFX rival S, a couple targets at 12 yards. Let's shoot some guns. Look at this sucker. So the first thing you realize or the first thing you feel when you pick this guy up is the extra 12 ounces of weight in the frame. And it's very noticeable. So I've shot this pistol before, but it was a pre-production model in Turkey several months ago. So this is the first time I will have ever shot the full production SFX Rival S. So let's see how it goes. my ears on. So we've been working on this pistol for several years and the last time I was in Turkey I want to say about six or seven months ago is when we did the final revision and made any changes and finalized everything. So we just got back from SHOT Show so we did a whole presentation there but now I actually get to pull the trigger. So let me load up a couple magazines and we'll get to it. Anybody not familiar with me, my name is Nils Jonasson and I actually shoot for Canik. I'm the, the team captain of the shooting team and I shoot guns for a living. It's kind of a, a neat gig. So I'm gonna load these magazines all the way up to 18 rounds. I'm gonna leave the magwell off because it's not gonna affect functionality. I'll just shoot it as the gun comes in the box. Load these bad boys up. And yes, these are our standard 18 round magazines. The 20 rounders will also fit this pistol. It's the same magazine um, that the original SFX rifle and the old TP9 SFX utilized. All right, let's shoot some targets. Oh, smooth, all right. Dude. Okay. I've shot a bunch of rounds to the SFX Rival and the TP9 SFX before that. This is factory 124 grain 9mm, so it's not super light powder puff ammo. And this is a bone stock pistol. And that extra weight in the frame absolutely soaks up a ton of recoil. I'm going to load a couple more mags up and keep shooting. That was too much fun. So this pistol is set up right now with its iron sight configuration. In the package, it comes with, I wanna say five optics plates. So if you have a red dot that you really like, chances are this gun comes from the factory with an optics plate that'll direct mount that optic to this gun. Move this bad boy all the way up. I'll tell you what, when I did that initial chambering, initial loading of the pistol, I wasn't sure a round actually made it into the chamber because it happened so smooth. But yeah, this guy shoots soft. 
if I was to give you like a percentage difference in the felt recoil of this pistol, I would probably say, obviously I don't have my SFX rival to do a direct comparison. I'll have to do that in another video, but it's a significant difference. It, it soaks up a ton of recoil. All right, a couple more rounds, 18 round mag. The real test of a pistol is to make sure it works with a full magazine with a round lo already loaded in the chamber. So this would be a 19 round test of the pistol. I expect it to work 100%, no issues, but you gotta check. Worked just fine. Another thing I gotta say about these pistols, out of the box factory triggers on the SFX Rival or any of the Canic pistols, really across the board, short of a four or $5,000 custom space gun, these guys' trigger out of the box beats everyone else. I, I can't think of a single manufacturer on the market that comes close to these guys for a factory out of the box trigger. And last year I shot the whole 2022 season with a factory Canic trigger. Fun fact. All right, I'm gonna finish out this box at 50. And then call it a day. But man, this thing shoots really, really nice. I am pleasantly surprised. I knew it was gonna shoot softer. I'm kind of surprised it's shooting this much softer. So I am super excited. And a lot of people have been asking me if I'm gonna switch over to the new gun, the steel frame, for the 2023 season. And I've been kind of non-committal, but after shooting this, I think I'm <laughs> more committed. I think I'm switching. It just shoots too soft. And that's without changing anything on it. This is a 100% bone stock pistol. one more 18 plus one test. I'm gonna do it one-handed, you know, give it a limp wrist simulation here. That works just fine. I work for Canik, so I'm biased, but that is one hell of a good shooting gun. That is the brand new Canik SFX Rival S. My name is Nils Jonasson. Have fun, stay safe. See you on the range. Before I go, I also want to give you an up close look of this box. So let me put this on the table. Why don't you come check this out? So this is gonna be our factory pistol case. Every single Rival S comes with this case. So this isn't some kind of special edition, fancy case. This comes with your pistol that you buy. So pistol, two magazines, two 18 round magazines, additional aluminum base pads, in case you're running the magwell and you want a little bit longer base pad for easier seating. Your magwell which just slips right on the bottom of the gun. Obviously your tool kit, your medium and large back straps. So it's a wraparound design. Really nice texturing on these guys. And then on our second tier, here's our manuals and all that kind of stuff. Down here, we've got our tool kits, our cleaning brush, a holster, mag loader, you got your trigger lock, and then here are all these optics plate, plates I was talking about. Kind of give you an idea what we're looking at. This is a fixed rear sight optics plate that allows you to co-witness with micro red dots. And then we've got everything from the SIG Romeo 3 Max and the RTS 2s to plates for like the Leopolds and Trijicons, all that kind of stuff. You got one more in there. So all of those come inside this factory case. 
along with your two magazines and obviously the gun. Let's get a closer look at this guy. Just like the SFX rival, the Rival S incorporates very aggressive front cocking serrations, so you're never going to slip off the front of the gun when you're trying to load or unload this pistol. Ambidextrous controls, so your slide release will be on the left and the right side. Nice adjustable rear target sight, fiber optic front sight. Man, that is a nice shooting pistol. All right, so my name is Nils Jonasson. That is the brand new Canik SFX Rival S. See you guys later.